All right, talk about recoveries. I saw you in 2008, perfect, win the World Series, you know, celebration. You're going to sign a bunch of pictures. I wish Chooch was going to be there to sign pictures with you. Uh, that <laughs> little, AC? That little that Where's little, he at? No, he's down in – he's down in – he's back home. He's in Panama right yeah. now at his, at his yeah. horse ranch, <laughs> at his bull ranch. But he's – uh, but you recovered to get to that point. You recovered from one of the more memorable home runs to give up against Albert Pujols. And – I want to talk about how that felt. Oh, oh they're going to show it to you? Oh, no. You <laughs> put it up. Crap. I've never hey, seen that, is, that before. Is, is he's that never, what seen, never it. seen it before. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pujols licking his lips, going around the – now, everybody's seen this oh. home run. And we want, yeah. I want to hear your reaction to it, but I want to hear first the story that Laner told me. Jason Lane told me the story of when you guys get on the plane and what the pilot said, which – I'm yeah. going to give a little bit of a pre-story that the year before you guys lost in the playoffs in a situ similar situation, ended up not advancing to the World Series. And so it was kind of felt like the same thing after this home run by Pujols. And what did the pilot say? If you can give us that yeah. story, <laughs> it is absolutely hilarious. Yeah, well... I mean, first, me. needless to say, I didn't. Uh, I didn't feel great <laughs> after that. Uh, <laughs> I was a little, little bit shell shocked. Like, you know, what just happened? Um, I'd had a run of a lot of good games against the Cardinals up to that point, in, including the previous year in the postseason, but and and some in this postseason. But then when he hit that, yeah, it was almost. It was kind of hard to, uh, just kind of hard to wrap your head around. Just kind of hard to believe for a little bit. Uh, but but you know, we were all kind of collectively hanging our heads. And and you're right. Like so, we got on the plane and. Um, you know, I, we're all bummed, first of all, because now we got to travel to St. Louis and, you know, like all these road trip plans change if something like that happens. So we get on the plane and, uh, you know, the pilot gets on and I don't know, maybe we're an hour into it, a half hour into the flight. And he's like, you know, if you look out to your left, you can see whatever, whatever. And if you look out to your right, we can see uh, Albert Pools' home run still flying by the airport. <laughs> and I was like. I was sitting and like, you know, because I'm still like in my own, you know, everyone's going to be moping and I'm still moping and everything else. And, and I'm like, I think, did I just, did that just happen in my head? Did that actually happen? <laughs> so, you know, I, I, I looked around and everyone's looking at me. I'm like, that, that actually happened. Right. So anyway, uh, long story short, Brad Osmus told the, uh, the pilot to say it. And at some point, not long after that, you know, I, I just started laughing because I mean, it was, it was basically classic Brad Ausmus, but also like, I mean, what, you know, what, what else can you do at that point? And, and I think the, the, when I started laughing, like everybody else started laughing, it was one of those deals where it really loosened up the team. And I thought at that point, I was like, man, you know, that was one of the best things he could have done for me, for our team, for everything else. And then sure enough, game six, Royals walk goes out there and shoves. And we, uh, we were fortunate enough to advance to the world series after that.